if you hear anything in the back, my dad is like blasting the TV. To be like the title says, I fought a naked girl. This is going to be my second story time ever. My first one was really a big hit. It was like the story of my first boyfriend and like my heart was so broken. So I will link that down in the description box or it might be something on the screen that you can go ahead and click after you're done watching this video. But this is actually going to be a story time of my first fight and I fought a naked girl. So this all started when I was probably 10 or 11 at camp and I can't tell you the camp but the camp was like real badass. Perfect best camp I've ever went to. If I was 12 or under 6 to 12 I will go back again. Like I wish I could go back in time just to go back to camp. That's how much I like that camp. It was a Christian camp, so fighting at a Christian camp, I know, I know, I know. I was friends with the girl's cousin. Me and the girl's cousin, we knew each other for a pretty good time. We went to other camps together. Our schools were like, we used to ride the same bus, I think. That's how it kind of got together. Like, the naked girl's gonna be Miranda. The naked girl's Miranda, and the cousin that I'm friends with is going to be Morgan. Okay, there we go. So, Morgan and I were friends. We always like hung out, especially around camp. The free time that we had, we shared the cabins together. We would even sleep like right next to each other so we could still talk, you know, stuff like that, like little girl stuff. So, her cousin comes the next year, and it's just like, I was trying to be nice, but she had like this like ignorance to her. Like, she was disrespectful and rude to me. So, when I went to camp during the summer, I would go to, like, a bunch of camps. So, I'll go, like, to four camps. Just because I love camp. No, my family wasn't trying to get rid of me. Not that I think. Me and Morgan were friends. We're laughing and stuff. And at the cab, we're like, oh, we're um in the same cabin. We're going to do this. Her cousin's just like, no. You're my cousin. And we're going to do this together. And I'm just like... You can be in this trio. The duo can turn into a trio. It's not that serious, huh? So, at one camp, she was being disrespectful. I let it slide. But then we got to the Christian camp. Most of the camps were Christian, but this was the best camp was the last straw. So, we're in the same freaking cabin. In this exact same room at that. It's four rooms to one cabin. It's two on one side, two on the other. Kind of like dorm rooms, if you think about it like that. She had a stanky attitude as soon as we got there, and I just, I was not in for it. I just did not want to deal with it. And then, as the time goes on, it's probably day three now. We stayed at the camp for like seven days. So day three, she already said her smart remarks. We'll exchange remarks back. I'm not even going to lie. I'm not going to lie up here and tell you guys like I didn't say nothing. I would say stuff to her too. But honestly, I didn't start trouble. Like at 10, I was really just a genuinely nice person. At 10 years old, I was really short and I was really, really skinny. Like my legs were like little sticks. I was extremely tiny. We don't know what this like weight came from. But the other girl, she was a lot taller than me. So I'm 5'5 five five right now. The other girl was towering over me as if she was six foot or six one. So that's how big the um, height difference was. This girl is a lot, she's she was, I don't want to call her fat, but she was fatter than I was. She's not fat, but she was bigger than me. And one day she's in the shower. She gets out the shower just with her towel on. No one else is in the room. I don't know how this happened. It was just my time to like smack her for real. So she gets out the shower. I'm laying on my bed and I'm writing in my journal and I'm painting my nails because I don't know. I was just so stereotypical back then for real. So I had like a little like diary log type of thing I would do during my um, times at camp so I can come home and just read it like, oh, I was having fun that day. So I'm just writing there and painting my nails and she comes in and she looks at me and she's like, mm. and I'm just like, mm, to you too, like the door and then the right on the door's wall is the bunk bed and then right beside the bunk bed is my bed and then it's like a bunch of beds and then she's all the way at the end in this and then it's a wall as well like say that's the wall it's beds lined up against that wall and then this wall I'm facing too beds in between so she just keeps she's walking slow and then she just keeps looking back at me like I'm thinking in my head like dude I'm minding my business don't 
don't tempt me to smack you today because today is not the day because I am ready for whatever that day I was just so ready I was just so upset it was a third day we already had a week before and a, and another week at a different camp the other camps and I'm just like it's enough like it's time for me to prove myself even though I'm small I might get whooped on but I I'm not gonna let someone push me around that's all I was gonna say so she walks back and then she just starts mumbling stuff under her breath and breath and I'm just like if you have something to say then speak up or come over here and tell me because I'm right over here I'm the only one in the room so you can come you can come and say something to me girl y'all <laughs> I grew some balls that day because I just did not start an altercation like that I wouldn't just start I'll just ignore her that's how I was back then. After that day, I'm just like, oh, if you have something to say, like you looking at me crazy, come up again. That's just it's, just, it's just like a switch just. So she's talking and I'm just like, okay, well, if you don't have nothing to say, then stop talking and do what you gotta do. And then she's just like, what did you say to me? She throws her towel back on. She's still naked. She didn't put no clothes on. She walks over to my, um, by my bed and I'm just like, can you like go put some clothes on and get away from me? like? dude you're naked like she's legit naked under her tile towel I said tile under her towel and I'm just like get out my face cuz I'm you're naked even though I can't see what's going on under there the thought of you being naked and trying to address me and check me so I'm just like Can you please get away from my bed and go do what you got to do and she's just like oh you don't have to tell me what to do and you're small and da -da 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 -da. I'm like okay I might be small but these hands for everyone bruh like I said I grew some balls that day because in my head I'm just like oh, I'm about to fight and she about to kill me <laughs> for real like I was so terrified I'm not even gonna lie so uh, so she's she's getting all in my face so I stand up out of my bed twist my nail polish back on close my journal and just I'm mentally preparing myself because I'm like if I'm calm that might scare her to think I might be crazy turns out I was crazy anyway so she's talking and I'm just kind of like listen you're not gonna do anything so I don't know why you're standing over here bruh where is this coming from this sass is coming from the core in my stomach that's been like building up it's the acid from my stomach that's coming out my mouth for real so she's just like oh well what are you gonna do I said hit me and you'll see she's like oh well you, you can hit me first and I'm just like I just told you hit me and you'll see what I can do I'm like please don't hit me in my head I'm just like please don't hit me I don't want to show you what I can do because I don't even know didn't get in a fight before this ever I'm like this girl is really about to just like hit me with a two piece you about in my face and then I'm small like our height was really like I was looking up at her so now I'm just thinking in my head like I'm trying to pump myself up like I'm ready she pushes me weakest push ever why is he watching the Step Brothers it was the weakest push in my lifetime it was like a little thing and then I like went like this but I didn't like Ugh! like I didn't fall back I didn't do no matrix moves all up in here so I'm just like you're too big to be that weak I said don't touch me and I was like I took God himself entered my body and I was like whoosh she's so dramatic she flew back fell onto the bed that's along this wall behind me refer to the diagram I showed you and she hit her head against the wall it's like thud, like boom no one still came into the room so she gets up and then she's coming in and I'm like, okay, Joan, okay, okay, Joan, now you got to get it together. This, 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 this is it. This is what everyone's always talking about, fight. This, this is what's about to happen. So you better block your face. And I will always remember what my brother and my dad say. Just make sure you block your face. So I'm just like, like, I'm like, I'm like, who? I'm jittery. I'm ready. I got my, my, you know, you got your little hands up. Like, mm. I'm listening to them I'm just like this like I'm ready like I was just ready I was so ready it's ridiculous she gets up she punches me in my chest 
didn't have boobs, so it didn't hurt. And I'm just like, oh, no. I just started. What? Like, first it was like some coordinated type of punches going on, like a, a, a man's fight, a men fight, like this. And then I just started, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> it's so funny because just thinking about it now. So I just start. Her top falls off. So now she's naked. I'm fighting a naked chick right now. And I don't care. So I'm starting, I'm going, and then she, I somehow get her to the ground and I'm on top of her and I'm just punching her. But so my best friend runs in, she's like, oh my God, Jojo, what are you doing? And I'm just like, I'm not even talking, I'm not hearing her. I heard her, but I'm not about to, I'm not about to, oh, I'm fighting. Like, no, I'm not about to do that. I'm going hand. She's like, oh my God, what are you doing, Jojo? Like, come on, like, get off of her. Then she runs out. I'm. I'm about to get in trouble. She's about to go get the counselor, of course, because she's not about to jump in this girl's fight. I get up, and I pull the girl up, and I throw her against that wall, and she falls onto the bed. I get on top of her. I take her head, but I'm smacking, like, I'm just smacking it against the wall. Not no wham, wham, but it's, it's a good little thud, like a beat going on, like, boom, boom, boom. Like, it's not, it's not really that bad now that I'm, uh. So the counselor runs in and pulls me off of this girl. It took Jesus to enter her body to get me off of her because it, it felt like I had, um, I can't remember the name, but it's like, I felt like I had an out of body experience because I was just, I lifted up and I just watched myself just go nuts. And I was like, I felt like I kind of like, I didn't black out. I know I didn't black out because I remember, but it felt like I blacked out and I just couldn't control myself. And then her cousin comes in, she's like, oh my God, what's going on, guys? She's like, you're my friend and you're my cousin, but I... So, of course, her cousin's crying, naked on the bed and crying, and I'm just like, send me home, guys, I know, I gotta go. Didn't get sent home, but I did have to write out of the Bible. So they gave me a, the Bible, they gave me like some um, scriptures to write, didn't give her nothing. And you know how they do in the school system. You get If you win the fight, you get expelled or kicked out or suspended for the most days. At camp, I had to write out the Bible and she got to sit there and cry to her cousin. So I guess like an hour and a half, because I didn't get my free time that day, but I did for the rest of the week. Um, I didn't get my free time that day. So I'm writing out of the Bible. Writing out the Bible, I get up and I tell my counselor, she's like, okay, you can go back to your room now. Everyone else is all like, you know, chilling in there. So I get up and it's like the hallway. Then it's our room. It's the counselor's room, the hallway and then our rooms. It's two doors because remember I said it's like a dorm. It's two doors on this side and two do doors on the other side. And then it's the bathroom on our side. And then it's like the closet in between like door, door, counselor's door, closet, bathroom. So right in front of like that strip before you get to both of the rooms, she's sitting there crying to her cousin. And I'm just like, dude, now I'm probably gonna have to fight the cousin. And that was my friend. I don't wanna fight, like, come on, man. Like, it's too much going on right now. Why couldn't you just be cool? So I'm just thinking in my head, her cousin bigger than me too. The, my friend, she was bigger than me. I was just really, now I'm gonna have to fight my friend. How am I gonna do this? I'm tired. I just fought for my life and I'm tired right now. She looks up at me and I look at her cousin, the one I fought, I'm like, she just, oh my God. She got a towel on, so I'm assuming she's still naked. This whole time, I fought this naked girl. She's still naked. She didn't think, oh, maybe I should put clothes on. No. So, she's crying on the floor. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And I'm just like, we fought over an hour and 30 minutes ago. It is fine. They put some, gave her ice pack. They gave her band-aids. Like, 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 I just like. I didn't have nails. I used to bite my nails, so I don't understand why she needed the band-aids, but whatever. Whatever. Her cousin looks up at me. I'm just like, oh. my friend. When I say her cousin, I mean my friend. I'm just like, oh. give me the strength today, God. And she says, respect. 
I don't know what that was. She just looked up. Respect. And did the little, like the, you got it not, like, you got it. You cool. And then she went back to, like, comforting, comforting her cousin. And I'm just thinking in my head, like, okay. From the rest of the week and even our years later of, uh, two years later at that thing, that girl I fought never said anything to me. Me and her cousin. I don't want to promote violence on my channel, not at all, because for one, I'm 18. I'm not grown, but I'm not about to fight someone. If I don't like you, well, I'm not even like that, period. Like, I'm really, um, I'm a very relaxed and mellow person. So if you don't like me, then bad for you, but I don't really care. Why are you gonna fight me? Because you don't like me. Is life that bad? Just like, I don't want to be known as the fighter. And I was known for that for a while. And I'm not a fighter. So, anyways, long story short, I fought a naked chick a lot bigger than me. Surprisingly, I won. My balls grew 10 times bigger than what they ever were after that day. Because I just thought, oh, I fought this girl a lot bigger than me. Guess what? All of y'all don't have a chance. You know. You know. If you win a fight, you, you get... <gasps> But, like I said, I'm not promoting fighting. Don't fight anyone. Violence is not the answer. You don't even have to talk it out. You can literally just ignore someone. You can ignore someone for like five years and it won't, nothing, what? It won't affect you. You will still go to sleep peacefully at night and you will clo close those pretty little eyes and open them back up and wake up and not even think about them once. But, that's all I have for you guys today. Um, thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you like these story times, I will definitely continue them. I said that last time, but I didn't really know what I should tell. But I just thought of this recently because I thought this was a funny story and i just been waiting to tell it. But if you want to hear like any more like my first blah blah blahs or just story times in general, be sure to leave a comment down below because I really do take those in co into consideration. Other than that, thank you so much for watching again. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. And um, stay no, no to violence. No to violence. Don't fight. And stay, stay you, and stay cool. See ya.